Uh, well, we're in beautiful Redondo Beach at the Crown Plaza Hotel. We just had a terrific event uh, with Meg Whitman, Whitman coming out and speaking to us. Uh, it was my first encounter to actually see her in person, and I was very impressed, and you could tell from the reaction of the crowd, I wasn't the only one. I think this campaign, as I said, needs to be one on ideas and a detailed plan. So I've done something that most politicians would never do, and that is put together a very detailed policy agenda. 48 pages on how we're going to create 2 million jobs in the first four years of a Whitman administration how we're going to cut $15 billion worth of spending from the state budget, and how we're going to get California's K-12 through education system to be number one in the country again, not near the bottom. So we're doing things that have really never been done in politics. We just finished mailing um, these books to 1,400 public libraries in the state of California. So we want to make sure that everyone, no matter what your technology capability, where, where you live, you have an opportunity to go read this plan. Now she's uh, putting her agenda at the library for people so that uh, they can read what's going on. I think it's fantastic that uh, we are really getting the message out, and that's why she's going to win, because she's getting that message out at that level to the real people of California who need her. You can go to my website, www.megwhitman.com, and download this book in a PDF format. You can also text us, text Meg's plan to 46634, or call an old-fashioned 800 number, 888-MEG-FOR-GOV. And the reason I want to do this is I would like every single Californian to get a hold of this plan. California needs Meg because she understands fiscal responsibility. She understands that the state of California can be run cheaper, but stronger and faster in greater ways. California is going to give Florida, Texas, and any other state a run for their money once we have that Republican candidate, Meg Whitman, in office.